Hello and welcome to Mathematics Made Easy channel. This is your favorite mathematics tutor, Comfort Amwakon Arthur. I welcome you all to my class this minute. If today is the very first time of you joining my class, a special welcome goes to you. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please look down there and click on the subscribe button to subscribe. You just take a minute. And also click on the notification bell to be updated whenever I upload any new tutorial on YouTube. Thank you. All right, so for this, for today, we are going to talk about rates. We have already talked about ratios in our previous lessons. And I believe you guys can now solve problems involving ratios with ease. Great, because we looked at the definition of ratios, we looked at some examples, and we also related it to our everyday life activities. And I hope you guys can now solve problems involving ratios. If you still find it difficult to do it, just go back to the videos and refresh your mind on it. Great. So today we are going to talk about rates. Rates. When I talk about rates, what is rates? For ratios, we said we are is a comparison of two things of the same kind or the same unit, right? Good. So for rates, it is when we compare two things of different units. All right. So look at the pair units. So now let's see. You take your jaw test as you come along with me for today's class. Now we are quickly looking at vocabulary, looking at some definitions and some examples and the rates. So this video um, talks about a road trip we are going to have. It's very interesting. And so we are going to look at the road trip, how many miles we can take within some certain amount of hours or time right so you are comparing the miles or the distance to time right so now let's see what the video entails so this is basically the definition of rates so the comparison of quantities right of different units. So this is basically for the road trip, as I said earlier on, we are going to compare the number of miles we can go within an hour or within some certain amount of time. So this road trip, we are traveling 50 miles per hour. That is the, the distance, right? The velocity, 50 miles per hour. So what is or how many miles can we cover within five hours? How do you solve this? Good, let's go. All right, so we said a rate is a ratio that is used when you are comparing two quantities of different things. Don't forget, ratio compares uh, two quantities of the same unit, but rate compares two quantities of different units. That is the slightest difference between ratio and rate. Is it difficult? No. Right? Good. We have so many examples as they are displayed on the screen, you know, you see.
All right, so y unit is called a unit price. That's all, all right. So this is also another example that we have, all right? Six dollars costing um for three bags of you take anything cheese candies anything so how what be or how much will one bag cost you have to multiply the six by the one bag So in this case, you multiply the six by the one dollar, then the three dollars you can represent it by anything. So I'll teach you the easiest way to do this mathematically, right? Yeah, I always want easiest way of doing things. If you understand the concept, you don't have to struggle. Now use the easiest way to modify your way out. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know how I'll be able to help you guys to enjoy the video as well because the songs are quite interesting. I'm sorry if you're unable to hear the sound, but that is basically what he's saying. Ratio and a rate. So ratio is a rate. Uh, sorry, a rate is a ratio that is used when you're comparing two things of different units right good all right so now let's see this vocab cards before you be able to do something you should be able to understand the vocabularies involved in it so let us compare them there's a comparison of it we have the denominator pair quantities rate ratio units Unit price. Okay. So, yeah, unit rate. So, you should be able to know this vocab. This vocabulary or key ways to help you solve problems involving rates. So, now let's play some simple game. So let's do the first problem. We were driving at a what do you think will be the answer at a rate, at a denominator, at a comparison? What do you think will be the answer? I will go for... Yeah, I got it. So we're driving at a rate of 16 miles per hour, right? We are comparing the distance with the time. Let's move to the next problem. I just solving some few questions there. Let's write with rates. A rate is used to measure. So what? A. So, what do you think will be the correct answer for this? A denominator of quantities, nah. the comparison of quantities, ah, comparison. Okay, a unit rate of quantity, a comparison of quantities, and that is correct. So, to choose the answer that is correct, let's see this one. You drag the word that goes best with the image. Okay, so ratio, no. Nah. Comparison, no units, yay! Perfect, guys. Good job, good job, good job, good job. What about this? Um, synonym, right? Amount, number, and I will go in for quantities, and that is correct. You guys are doing awesome. Let's do the last two problems. I'll leave it to the rest. Make sure to include there. Hmm. Units of each measurement on your blue blueprint. And that is because you say we don't want to confuse people. 
and inches. So you need you need to include the units of each measurement, right? So that you'll be able to know the inch or the particular units you are dealing with or you are, you are calculating. Drag over the word that goes best with the image. What is this? We've done this already, guys. I shouldn't struggle with this. Don't forget, we say we have three ways of writing ratios as a column, as a fraction, and using the word too. All right, so this is ratio. Perfect. Ah, so I'll leave you with this one to solve this. Uh, the cost of y units for I think the cost of y units. So this is what a unit price. The cost of well, I guess that I was using it. Okay, now I'm giving you this. We brought a large fix in the answer of water to the picnic because it was so hot outside. A large quantity units. I just said I was leaving it for you guys to solve. Okay, a measurement of something like growth or speed. What is it? Measurement. The measurements of something. Is it comparison? Is it denominator? Is it rate? Let's see. Right. What about this? We saw this one, right? We just say it is what comparison. Perfect. The star was selling five pineapples for ten dollars. The unit price was two dollars. Five dollars for ten dollars. The unit price is needed for one item. Cost you two dollars. So in this case, they are comparing the price to the number of pineapples we have. I think we have two right now. Find a unit rate right of the people. With the units that we are looking for in the kingdom, we are going to apply it perfectly. It's easy enough. So, so guys, he drove at a rate of 55 miles per hour. That is perfect. A rate is a. Yes, guys. Is a ratio that is when comparing two quantities of different units. Yes. Then when two hundred miles in three hours, the unit rate was hundred per hour. Unit rate. For every. For every means pay. So I'm very proud of you guys. Oh no, this will be easy. Maybe we could have the last two. The last one. A race in which one of the five is one. Minutes. All right. That is so perfect, guys. That is so, so perfect. You know, there was a sound playing at the background. I don't know whether you guys heard the sound, but it was so loud that I enjoyed the sound. So, but I hope you guys were able to answer the problems correctly. So, uh, maybe in my next tutorial, I'll, I'll take you through all these ones. All right. There are some nice, nice problems over here. And it helps you to picture life. So that is when you bring mathematics to your home, right? To, to your shops, to whatever you do outside a classroom. That is why we learn these things. So you should be able to calculate it whenever you go to the mall or you go to the shop, you go for shopping. Else, hey, someone will cheat you. Or, and you don't, you, you, don't guys, you guys don't want anyone to cheat you, right? You, know, you have to know how to calculate for everything you buy. For example, if you buy five pencils for ten dollars or for ten Ghana cities, how much will be the unit price of one pencil? So you guys should be able to calculate how much will one 
how much one pencil will cost you. All right, so thank you so much for your time and attention. I also have a quiz over here that I wanted to give you. Uh, there is a nice quiz over here, a rate is a ratio that compares what quantities with different units. So I'll answer this for you. But um, let's see whether I can leave the link under this video for you guys to go there and solve this problem. A car is going 50 miles per hour. The rate that is cried, this would have units of what? All right, so this one you're comparing what? Miles to hours, not miles to cars, no. You're comparing miles to hours, right? Okay, let's see then. Okay, I think this one, I can show you guys the problems and you guys will solve the problems without me answering. Oh, what is happening? Amounts. Oh, there you go. Oh, I can't. Unless I answer the problem. Oh, that's so bad. I thought I could show you the answers and leave you to answer the problem. If you walk to school at a rate of three miles per hour, how long will it take you to walk six miles? What do you do? So if three miles is giving you one hour, what will six miles give you? Six miles will give you more hours. That is obvious. So what do you do? If it's more, let's divide. So six divided by three give you two hours, right? Okay, so what I just used is quite complicated and wouldn't best go for Kate. So I would prefer you guys don't use that. If more or less divide, if less more divide, that one is quite complicated for kids, right? But for you, for kids, you should be able to picture whatever you are saying. If five pencil is going for ten dollars, then one pencil will go for how many or how much will one pencil cost you? So as you said in the uh vocab game for the rate for the rate. Whatever you're comparing, you have to bring that as a denominator. And that one helps you to solve the problem. Let's see this one. Um, let's quickly go to... I want to use an example from IXL to solve some few questions with you. So let me stop sharing this. Then I share IXL. Yeah, probably I'll solve some two questions with you. All right, 39 stamps on three sheets. How many stamps per sheet? So what do we do? 39 stamps. So 39 stamps per on or on three sheets, right? So 39. 39 stamps. Let's use this ST, right? So I don't waste time to write it. 39 stamps is going for how many sheets? Three sheet SH. All right, so what's the question? The problem is how many stamps? So we don't know how many stamps. We don't know. Goes for one sheet. That is one pair, one pair units sheets. All right. So for kids, we can use the butterfly method. You guys, I know you love the butterfly method. So we are going to rewrite this. 39 going for three sheets. Then since we don't know the um, the number of stamps for this, we represent it with a variable. Remember what a variable is, right? An unknown number. So we can represent it with any letter. That's a variable going for one. So now we use the butterfly method now. Right. Okay, let's change the color. There you go. So I get this. This 39 multiplies, sorry. The one and the three also multiplies the a. All right, 
or something like this. So we have we have thirty nine times the one. 39 times the 1, giving you 3 times the A, right? Yeah. 3 times the A. All right, so we have 39 equals 3A. equals three a oh sorry for that okay so how do we find our a because we have a number with a variable how do you find how do you get rid of the variable you guys know this we have to divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of the number so we have 39 equals 3a and you guys know that the coefficient is what 3 because that is what is attached to the variable. All right, so divided by 3, divided by 3. All right, so the left hand side, whatever I do to the left hand side, I do the same thing to the right hand side. So this and this cross out, then 3. Oh, this is 39, so this is giving us 1 and 3, 13. All right. Then we have three and three. So now we have a equals three thirteen. Yeah, that's what we call. So the part of the question, how many stamps? So we have thirteen stamps. Oh, all right. So we have thirteen stamps, right? Good, good job, good job, good job, good job, good job. So if you want to come, if you want to um confirm your answer and just multiply the three times thirteen to see whether you get back your 39, just to confirm the answer. Uh, okay, so let's input our answer there and see. So we have 13, submit. That is wonderful. All right, so I'm giving you this to also try your hands on it. It's basically the same thing. You go through the same procedure, 39 laps in three days. Then how many laps? In one day or per day, right? Okay. Good. So now try your hands on this and keep practicing. If you have the IXL, you have the Kahoots, you have the math, you have any math games, or you can get some worksheets, try your hands on it. Practice. I always say it makes perfect. Good practice makes perfect. You don't practice wrongly and expect to be perfect in it. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for your time and attention. I believe this tutorial was helpful. If it was, do not forget to give me a thumbs up down there. And also do not forget to share the link to your friends. Let's take a recap of whatever we learned. One, we learned about rate. But we took we took a review on what we learned on ratio. So we learned on rates comparing two things of different units. So a rate is a ratio that is used when you are comparing two things of different units, right? Then for rates also, um, we looked at the key vocabularies and the rates, and also we played some games, that is some questions, you know, under rates. So you can use this whenever you go to the shops, to shop, do your shopping, you apply this to stuff. Problems to help your mom and your dad, then no one cheats you. All right, so I'll come back and continue with a with a quiz. I'll have a tutorial on the quiz, and I will lead you guys to solve the problems under the quiz. Right, good. All right, so we we'll meet again. Please stay safe and learn hard. Love you guys. Bye. Um. Hold on, was this then sharing? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, I think yes, screen sharing. I think I was sharing, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, okay. Love you guys. Bye.